a new chemical element, or the first man to land on the moon. He was a simple man, a medical student, married, with one daughter and a son on his way, who nevertheless entered into the pages of history for one reason, his love for spelunking and the tragic death that it brought him. Here we explore five facts about his death as, definitively, one of the most horrible ways to die. Number 1. He thought he was getting into a different canal. One of the first questions that his loved ones asked was, how could John have gotten himself into such a position? He was an experienced spelunker, who had already been to the Nutty Putty Cave several times as a child, a teenager. The answer was only revealed later when the people who were with him explained that John mistakenly thought that he was getting into a famous passage, called the Birth Canal, for apparent reasons. The entrance for this passage was not signalized, so only after being entirely trapped within the wrong one, he realized the grave mistake that he had made. Number 2. He jammed himself more trying to get out. When he noticed this, his first reaction, and indeed the first reaction of most people, was to try and squeeze himself out of the natural duct by wiggling around. Thinking that he could not wiggle back by his means, he tried to press forward, exhaling all the air in his chest to pass through the 10 times 18 inch space finally. This proved to be worse, now, he was stuck even tighter and unable to expand his chest fully. And things didn't improve when his brother Josh tried to pull him out, sliding him further down the hole in the process. Number 3. The cave had been closed before for being too dangerous. Throwback to three years earlier, workers of the School and Institutional Trust Lands Administration, SITLA, of Utah closed the cave entrance after predictions from experts that some of its main attractions were becoming increasingly dangerous from being overused and that a fatality might take place there. They only reopened it on the same year that John died, on May 21, 2009, after installing new safety measures. Still, some new places of the cave were left untouched, the passage into which John went. In perspective, the lack of warning signs should have been a warning sign for him. Number 4. The first rescuers arrived after three hours. And yet, John was stuck, on November 24, headlong in a tight hole, in the darkness, and unable to breathe. After realizing that he could not get him out, his brother Josh went out to find help. But John was 400 feet within the cave, and 100 feet straight below the surface, so between the time that it took Josh to get out and find help, it had been three and a half hours. The first person to arrive, a woman named Susie Motola, introduced herself to the pair of shoes that she saw sticking out of a hole in the cave floor. John answered. Hi Susie, thanks for coming. But I really, really want to get out. Number 5. His head was filling up with blood. Being upside down is dangerous even if you are not in a tight spot in some cave. When upside down, the heart has to make a strenuous effort to fight gravity and prevent the body's blood from going to your head. After 20-something hours, John's heart couldn't go any longer, he was losing consciousness and regaining it for moments, as his head filled with blood. During those times, he must have felt an unbearably increasing pressure in his chair and an increasing sense of despair.